so this is what's happening here this is what's happening this is what's happening isn't it giving isn't it giving what it's supposed to give it is giving it's giving for me Welcome to my space. To all my returning subscribers, I appreciate you. And if you are new to my channel, swipe to subscribe, hit that bell to keep the hype alive. Follow me on my socials to see more of me. It's gonna be lit, so let's get to it. I am dying my hair today. We are dying our hair today, right? I am so excited. It has been a minute, it has been a long time since. I've been thinking about this so I'm finally at the stage where I'm just like my life is too boring it's too black and white you know it's just predictable so today I'm dyeing my hair in the color copper I've been seeing a lot of people call this color copper I'll show you a picture right here so it's like orange red copper vibe a lot of okay let's hit the brakes for a second the truth is i didn't really manage to get an orange out of my dye i got more of a cherry red going on that sort of vibe so if you are here for the orange i'm really sorry but we can do that in another video i've been into it and i've been wanting to dye my hair this color but i feel like i wasn't ready for that step like i wasn't ready for that step and I like I constantly planned to dye my hair but I never really did it and I'm grateful that I never really got to the point where like I'm dyeing my hair until now because I feel like I planned it very well you know I have the equipment um the only thing that I need to do is you know like my hair is in cornrows right now so I need to unplat my hair so after I'm plaiting my hair, we're getting started, we're getting, we're getting on it. Like, this is it. This is it. The plan is to dye my hair blonde, but not too blonde. Just to lighten my hair a bit because my hair is black, like peach black. So if I am going for a really orange or a really bright color, I need to lighten my hair first before going into bright colors so i'm gonna make it a little bit light by bleaching it to a blonde but i'm not gonna bleach it too much because obviously there's a thing called hair damage you know we don't want to get to that point we still want hair at the end of the day we still want to look good we are avoiding breakage and that whole mess but i am gonna dye my hair blonde first and then from blonde take it to an orange i'll show you everything that i'm using and let's just let's just get to it i am finally i i'm finally done unbraiding my hair this is how my hair looks like back to front this is what we're working with so my first step is to section my hair i'm not gonna section my hair in a way that like is like perfect i'm just gonna section it and then like my lines are not gonna be straight like i really don't have to have straight lines it's it's not worth it okay let us start with what we are going to use let me just fill up that gap because it looks weird let us start with what we are going to need um so to section my hair i'm going to use ribbons these small nothing too fancy this is the brand that i'll be using to dye my hair the new perfect color you know because i want that perfect color <laughs> that is too damn cheesy anyway um that is what i'm gonna use and everything that you would normally need to dye your hair is in this box um the only thing that I'm not seeing are gloves. So there are gloves in the house. I'll just like grab them and go. 
I'm not quite sure if it comes out with gloves. It's supposed to. So where's my mayonnaise? Let me just tell you what the kit comes up with. Comes up with. Kim, what the kit comes with. And then, in English, no? <laughs> what the kit comes with. And then from there on, um, I'll tell you the instructions as I go through the video. So, like I said, this is how it looks like. Uh, it's called Green New. It comes up with instructions, which is amazing because we need that. And then it comes with, hold on, bottle of pre-lightening powder, which is this right here. This powder right here. The developer. So they have like a pre-developer and they have like two of them so it says pre-lightening developer which is bigger than the other developer so the pre-developer is a hundred milliliters and then i'm guessing this is the developer after like after you use this which is 50 milliliters so you can see the difference like you can see the difference so these two developers, I think one goes with the lightning um, powder and then the other one goes with the colorant. You have your sachet of conditioning and then you have like extra stuff which is like your bottle of shine serum which is something that you're gonna use right after you're done dyeing your hair and then you have so it does come up with gloves, plastic gloves, but like I said, my kit didn't come up with plastic gloves. There are certain things missing and like I just didn't feel like being the adult in the situation and going to the shop and dragging people because my bag didn't come up with, my kit didn't come up with a plastic, plastic gloves. Like I have plastic gloves, but we're not going to do that. And then a brush which looks like this which looks like this so this is obviously just to you know brush in the mixture and let's let's get into it so I'm gonna be mixing all my stuff in here so have an extra container that you can mix in so that yeah just have an extra container so you can pour everything in here so I'm starting with my pre-lightening powder. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put the developer in there and then just mix it all together. And then from here on, just mix it, mix it, mix it. I poured some on the floor, but that's okay. Yeah, we're just mixing right now and everything is just looking very white honestly nothing has to really change it's looking very white um and this is basically the bleach so the first developer plus the powder um and this is basically the bleach i'm just putting it on my hair um, on each section the reason why i have sections is because sometimes when you dye your hair like certain places are not very like visible especially when you're doing it at home and you're doing it on your own certain places you can't reach certain places are not visible so sectioning my hair did really help me reach places i normally can't reach and yeah i'm aware of like my whole head rather than like parts of it so i'm currently fully covered um i haven't covered my roots just because you know the first 10 to 20 minutes you have to wait just for your hair to kind of just like become you know blonde brown whatever you cut the whatever color like you are working on but yeah you have to you know dye your hair right at the top first the tip first and then after like 10 to 20 minutes then you can dye the root so one thing that i forgot to do just before dyeing my hair is taking some petroleum jelly some vaseline vaseline whatever you want to call it and putting it like around your edges this really helps to like prevent 
heat from going beyond your hairline because sometimes you like feel burn like up to here and then your scalp and your face will match so petroleum jelly on the other hand will prevent that from happening if we just create that border around your hair so now what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna relax chill and watch some tv let all this product sink in i don't want to take it too far you know i don't want it to be too brown as you can see it's becoming brown right now i don't want it to get to the point where it's blonde we don't want that we want something you know brownish a little bit lighter than this so i'm just gonna wait a bit and see you guys later okay so this is what my hair looks like right now i'm gonna touch up the roots so that the roots look like the rest of my hair and then from there on wait a little bit for the roots to get bleached a little and we're gonna move on to step two if this doesn't work i'm gonna be so sad like i'm gonna be so sad because i'm trying to activate my hot girl you know like you know my my hot girl the hot girl in me you know so that i can have a hot girl summer but if this doesn't work it's gonna ruin my hot girl summer so this is what i'm working with as you can see my hair is blonde one thing about 4c hair is that it's gonna shrink it's not gonna ask you for permission it's not gonna check the weather it's not gonna no it's gonna shrink if you add some moisture in the air or like put it on it like any sort of moisture it's gonna shrink i'm just gonna wash it and then after washing it we're going to you know part two of dyeing my hair and yeah this is the part where we open our color and we're just gonna grab the lid Flip it to the other side and then poke a hole into the colorant this is the best way to open this tube i don't know any other way i always do it this way and then from there on you grab whatever container you have at home that you're not really going to use after you dye your hair you're just going to squeeze the tube into the container squeeze it all the way until you have all the product that is within the colorant tube and then we're gonna mix the colorant with uh, the second developer and then mix it all together and as you mix it you should be getting a certain like color that is coming out which is the color that we're gonna use well which is the end result like you know the color that we will have on our head once we're done dyeing our hair so basically right now i'm just putting the homogeneous mixture into my hair and right now this color was giving me orange so i really felt like it's gonna come out orange but as i let the mixture sit in it became red so we'll just have to wait and see this is the reason why you shouldn't wear something you value when you dye your hair because this is what happens this is what happens but in other news my head is on fire. This girl is on fire. Well, not this girl. This head is on fire. Literally. The thing is, right now, I'm seeing red and I'm panicking, you know, like, I'm panicking. I'm seeing a lot of red going on. And I'm like, it's not what I want, you know, like, it's not what I want it's not what i want but hopefully this comes out really well if it is more red than orange we'll, we'll have to work with what we have but like you know okay so i washed my hair and what we're working with right now is more of a red than orange but i'm not mad considering that dye can like fade away after a really long time when you expose it to sunlight you know 
so i think that i am gonna get the color that i want or at least i'm very close to the color that i want it's just that it's looking very rich right now you know so i still want to stretch out my hair and then show you guys the final result my hair is still wet i'm gonna put in the conditioner and leave it on for at least an hour just to make sure that my hair is not very dry you know i'm looking i'm liking it i'm liking it i'm looking cute i'm liking it so much so just just wait just wait for the final reveal so these are our final results this is how my hair looks like now i could really say in terms of the color i could really say that if red and orange had a baby this would be the color that came out because i can't really say that it's red i can't really say that it's orange but it's in between the two colors and i'm really loving it like it's giving what it's supposed to give so this is the cherry color that i basically got and i absolutely love it i would definitely recommend it and so far so good Honestly, the products were harsh at some point because I did bleach my hair and put the color on afterwards, but it was gorgeous. Like it was just, the process was, was not like hectic. The process was not hectic, but the outcome was worth it. Like the outcome is gorgeous. My hair is giving cherry, it's giving red, but not like hectic red. It's giving like a very soft, very nice red. It's soft on the eye it does like i do get like slight attention from like people obviously because my hair is red but besides that it's giving what it's supposed to give like it's not hectic it's not to the point where i feel uncomfortable like i like this sort of red um normally i think a lot of people would go for maroon and not this but this is really close to it however when i am in the sun it is more glowy like it, it glows just a little bit more and like in front right now like there's more i have like blonde highlights in front very blonde highlights in front but like like i said it's highlights so you don't see them as much but this is like what's going on you see like this is what's going on and my hairline is still there my hair is still there i know a lot of people hold on Hold on, hold on. I know a lot of people are concerned about like in terms of health, you know, like what what does your hair need right after your diet? What does it need after this whole treatment? Is my hair gonna fall off? You know, such things. To be honest, I can't I can't really give you like a direct answer. It depends on the type of hair you have. It depends on like how your hair reacts to certain things. But for sure, what I can tell you is that you need to moisturize more often than you normally do. Like, you need to moisturize your hair all the time. Like, if the minute you see that it's dry, it's likely to break off. And if it's likely to break off, that's not a good thing. So, definitely moisturize your hair. It is important to moisturize your hair when you need to moisturize your hair. And, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, guys. Until next time.